1930, a ninth planet was discovered in our solar system. It was named Pluto, after the Roman god of the underworld. For over 70 years, Pluto was considered to be the smallest and farthest planet from the Sun. But in 2006, the International Astronomical Union, or IAU, reclassified Pluto as a dwarf planet. So why did Pluto lose its planetary status? To understand this, let's first look at what makes a planet a planet. According to the IAU, a planet is a celestial body that 1. orbits the Sun, 2. has sufficient mass to assume a nearly round shape, 3. has cleared the neighborhood around its orbit. The first two criteria are pretty straightforward. All the eight planets in our solar system meet these requirements, but it's the third criterion that Pluto fails to satisfy. Pluto's orbit is not clear of debris. In fact, Pluto shares its orbit with many other objects in the Kuiper Belt, a region of the solar system beyond Neptune that is home to icy bodies. These objects are known as Kuiper Belt objects or KBOs. They are similar in composition to Pluto and range in size from small asteroids to objects larger than Pluto. This means that Pluto is not unique in its region of the solar system. It's just one of many KBOs. In fact, when NASA's New Horizons spacecraft flew past Pluto in 2015, it revealed that Pluto is not a typical planet at all. It's actually more similar in composition to KBOs than to the eight planets of our solar system. Pluto is much smaller than the other planets, and it's made up mostly of ice and rock. Its orbit is also more elliptical than circular. Another reason why Pluto lost its planetary status is that its orbit overlaps with that of Neptune. This means that Pluto and Neptune cross each other's orbits, making it difficult to define where one planet ends and the other begins. So, while Pluto may have been considered a planet for over 70 years, its classification as a dwarf planet is now widely accepted by the scientific community. It's not that Pluto is any less interesting or important than before, but rather that our understanding of what a planet is has evolved. With the new discoveries being made all the time, who knows what other surprises the solar system has in store for us. Thank you for watching and see you in another video.